has its own middleware, it's got its own rubber, and it in the morning when I was studying about microservices because uh, in my startup app, in the tech startup, uh, I'm planning to use microservice architecture not the monolithic architecture and why I want to do that because uh, that's good and it's uh, blazing fast and it is, uh, whenever I want to scale my application because I'm planning to scale it as soon as I launch it I know uh, there will be need to scale the application if everything will fall into right place as I'm thinking of. So for that I think that I have to I have to learn my service architecture. As of now I know what is my service architecture but like honestly I am not making a particular project on it because since uh, till now I was working on many more architecture so I know those actual architecture really well and now I really want to learn my services architecture from my application. And you know, uh, you should also use Microsoft architecture for your startup because if someday at some point of time, because in future as soon as you launch it, if you, if you want to save your application, if you want to save your entire code base, so you can ask for a huge amount or you can ask for a good amount because you need a uh, microservice architecture which is very rare, I mean, not rare but uh, uh, difficult initially and a very scalable uh, architecture. So, uh, like there are two kind of applications, the same application, there's two types of the same application. One is with monolith architecture and one is the microservice architecture. So, definitely you can ask for more money if you are using microservice architecture. So, yeah, I thought I should learn it. And that's what I'm doing it. I'm studying and I'm learning microservice architecture. So, uh, doing your own startup like coding on a startup by your own is difficult and it's pain <laughs> and it takes time so i uh, was doing like since that one and a half and i have like built these many pages basically i mean i'm a fan paper guy i like to write a lot i like to make diagrams i like to make two charts for my study i mean that's how i understand because i have a I mean, like visualizing person i like when things are visualizing for me so i can understand them better so well, we'll talk more about microservice architecture, maybe in my next sort of like uh, develop video. So yeah, see you then. Good night. Hey everyone, and it's 2:47 in the afternoon, and since I uh, woke up, I'm working on the basic app flow. So I'm going to share something with you that basic app flow is something basically you have to draw your whole, whole concept of the application, your whole idea on a single page with an, uh, like minimum number of blocks if possible and minimum number of words if possible. So like they're saying like if you're not able to explain your idea on a single page with a minimum number of words and blocks, maybe diagram, then your idea is not good or maybe you have to reconsider your idea once again. So I was doing that and I think now I'm kind of done with it. I was like successfully uh, like I'm able to uh, conceptualize or visualize my whole idea on a single paper uh, with few like one two three four five six blocks basically so okay so uh, like this is also a very crucial part when we start a startup and as I promised in my first video that I will be helping with each, each and every single detail you need when you uh, do a tech startup because most of the people on YouTube does not share I mean um, they, they don't share that so I want to share every single step, every single uh, crucial step uh, with you. So I'm um, doing that. So yeah, uh, one more thing I want to say that uh, before start coding, your application should be on paper. I mean a perfect architecture or perfect hierarchy or all the steps or the data flow or the state flow, or state management flow, everything should be on the paper very clearly, precisely. So when you start coding, you won't be having any problem uh, because it's not going to be a to-do list application or a simple CRUD operations like which you can finish uh, in one, two day or like uh, two hours. It is going to be like a year long project. So uh, you have to be very careful. I don't want like after three, four months, I have to reconsider each and every, every single thing because I won't be having a hierarchy of the steps 
और परफेक्ट कॉन्सेप्चुलाइज स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ माई एप्लीकेशन सो राइट नो आई एम बिल्डिंग दैट एंड दिस इज द प्रोसेस एंड दिस इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ दिस वीक सो आई कीप डूइंग दैट एंड आई विल अपडेट यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो बाय